Yeah, yo, yeah, yo, everyone. Dr. Jace, attorney here, back with another live reaction to Dragon Ball Daima. We're on episode five, titled uh, Pansy. I think that's the name of the episode. Um, I imagine that's the name of the female character that we're going to get introduced to in the next couple minutes. Um, so super excited to see that. Um, and then we'll probably get some insight as to what characters are, are going to be coming into Sparking Zero as well. So that's going to be exciting to see too. Um, I'm not going to waste any more time. I, I actually want to get straight into this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video or the episode, be sure to leave a like, a thumbs up on the video. It helps it in the YouTube algorithm. So really, really appreciate it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing and click that bell icon, most importantly, so you do not miss a video when we go live or when we upload a new one. But all right, guys, let's not waste any more time. Let's get Dragon Ball Daima episode 5 underway in 3, 2, 1, bam. Whoa, that is loud. Password site called Shenron. Okay, okay. Recap on, on the Dragon Balls. <laughs> we need this, yes. <clears throat> Rawr. Oh wait, actually no, we see this all the time. Let's let, let yeah, this is always here. This is always here. Uh let's skip the intro. Alright, oh oh hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Right after this, right after this. Let's see. Ponzi. Oh, oh. Yes, answer. Oh, explain. <laughs> what is a train? You're not from here. Does she? Oh, she doesn't. She has no idea. Okay. That's a lie. That's a lie. Oh. I I should have known. It, it, she has pigtails. She's going to be the Sundere of the group. We're in a hurry. I don't have time to explain why I don't have time to explain. Oh, wow. She got a dagger back there. <laughs> I mean, she could just follow them. Assuming she cannot keep up, though, when they start flying or doing stuff. Oh, okay, the aftermath. Whoa! Impossible. With a red stick. Key thing, red stick. You got a red stick. Oh, yeah, that's all you gotta do until they start flying. What does it look like, though? Ponzi? Yeah, there we go. That's a weird name, too. I think everyone's name in Dragon Ball is weird. I'm surprised he even introduced himself as Kakarot. That's actually kind of cool. Maybe the power pole extending? That's kind of magic cool. Okay. Lovely. Let's see. Oh, telekinesis type of stuff? I already know her moveset in Sparking Zero now. Whoa. Look. Baka. Oh, 
Oh, she's a tech whiz. So she's the Bulma of the group, basically. Hopefully she's competent, though. Bulma was very competent with this. I don't know if she's a klutz with this stuff. If her bombs are anything to go by. Oh, he's a glind. Yeah, he's a glind. Degesu. Child. Just, you know, vibing. <laughs> We're just vibing. On business. Glodio has enough. He's like, dude, leave. The answer is no. Oh, Goli he, he didn't even say it right. Golori. Oh, but Broly? A marker. Hmm, he might not listen. Oh, he is going there too. God damn, man. I gotta see what the life ex expectancy is for some of these demons. Oh, there we go. What the hell? 1,000 years. 500? 82. Wow. Do, 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 do. Mm -mm. <laughs> I mean, she's a good guide so far. She hasn't gotten them killed. There's Kadan Castle. An uncivilized mafia boss. What a descriptor. Okay, very Robin Hood. All right. Ooh, are we back to Goma? I think this is Goma's. Yeah, this is Goma's castle. Red ogre, red ogre. Please. Dende. Oh, they're reading Dende a lullaby. That's oh, that's so funny. That is funny. Make it fun. I mean, as a baby, though, like, I don't know. That's so funny. Called on the castle. Oh, step back. Did we? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Oh, she's the princess. Oh, Nani. What? No wonder she had so much intel and knew the area. Okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, how dare you? Rude. I mean, the food, I mean, they're in abundance here. 
Oh, is that food alive? Were those like onions? Hmm. Oh, that's funny. Hey, at least they're happy to see her. Let's see what Papa looks like. Oh, the the Miyu character. Oh, okay. I I I, I want to see what this guy looks like. What does he look like? Okay, he has like a one of those hair things. Okay. At last, Glorio. Okay. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see how much uh, he draws inspiration from Miyu. That was one of the prevailing theories when the trailers came out and showed like images of this guy. Oh, this is giving Dragon Quest right now. I don't know why. The chubby king in the armor. You say you'd break someone probably. To defeat Majin Buu. Oh, does he not know? They're just little brats. That power would go for some reason. Okay, we didn't get like a full shot of him. Just like parts of his body. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. I never would have guessed. It's that Saiyan blood. Clench his fist tightly. What's going on with this? He's getting mad. Will he take over? Hmm. Is he tyrannical? I don't know. Seems a little power hungry there. Duh. Whoa. You better fix that, Goku. Better fix that right now. Whoo. Go ahead and explain that part. <laughs> Explain that part. Problematic. All right, the air is clear. Thank God. <laughs> Demon Realm Dragon Balls. Dragon Balls. Are you planning to fight the town? I would like to see a Tama Tamagami fight. I'm just saying. Ridiculous. It's only three. It should be easy. I don't know. We'll see. His, his key, uh, Daima Goku's key recovery in Sparking Zero is not that good. actually defeated Majin Buu. Okay. They might. It's worth a shot. It's worth a shot. Stolen. Ooh, okay. Like, just a performance or fight someone? Fight someone, yeah, no. Wipe out my entire King's Guard, please. 1v30. All right. Oh, yeah! We can finally unionize now! All right. Oh, just fists. Uh, no, Goku's like, no, man, let him throw hands. 
Oh, he's gonna leave Power Pole. Okay. The Nyoibo. He said, go ahead, try. Do it. I dare you do it. Will he go Super Saiyan here? I don't know. Let's see. I feel like he doesn't have to. He doesn't have to. Ooh, oh, okay. Watcha. Ba boo do 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 do. Whoo. All right, he do he doing work, man. He doing work. I don't know how many of them are gonna want to still keep fighting him. Ooh, that was clean. That was a clean one. Oh, okay, that guy took a lot. <laughs> Hold it. Oh, wow, no Super Saiyan. We got it. Oh, wow. Okay, I like it. Supreme Kai gla glazing him, man. He's like, that ain't, even the, that ain't even the half of it. That ain't even the half of it. Ooh. Disrespectful. He has the gold aura. Is he... Okay, now it's gone, though. I wonder if he was maintaining that. The question is, as a kid, how high can he go? How high can he go? Super Saiyan seemed pretty effortless. So, is, is SS2 on the table? Is SS3 on the table? That's the big question mark, SS3. Grind the data. Yosh. Royal registered. I see. I see. She's showing up to help us. Oh yeah. When do they get here? Oh, this guy. Hybis. We saw we we saw him earlier. I like his jingle. This song sounds like it belongs in like a Yakuza game. <laughs> like for one of the silly sub stories. called earth and universe seven wow he actually called it universe seven here interesting we didn't get confirmation on the universe number until uh you know battle of gods three or four bum, 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 bum. Yes, sir. Why is it like this? <laughs> okay, sure. Okay, they're, they're gonna go ahead. Good, good, good. She's packing all that for- No, you leaving that. That's not fitting on the ship. I have yet to see that. I have yet to see any of that. Nope. Oh, did he get his name wrong again? I, I didn't even see it. And Pansy coming with us will be a big help. I know he got it wrong originally in the beginning of the episode. Of course you will. Fist bump. No fist bump? Just a smirk. That's all we need. No. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. Shonen always got to have it. Shonen always has to have the fist bump. Ooh. 
actively hiding something. Really? Oh, right. He hasn't been clear. Yes, it does. Off to where they need to go. So it's off to second demon world, right? You buy me Wonderland. I wanted to see more of that, like that lady general. She looked kind of cool. Which breaks? It should take us about four days. Four days. Oh God. Demon world. It's only four days. What are they gonna do for four days in that plane, man? Oh, oh it's already. Come on, go fix it. Fix it. Go. She's a pro. Fix it. Do your thing. I knew that thing was gonna go bad, so so, so she could show off. Dump it. Ooh, but damn that. Oh God. They went like what a whole 30 feet from the God. <laughs> Major progress, right? Major progress. Um, let's see. Do we get a preview? We should get a preview. Let's see what we got here. Uh, lightning. Ooh, whoa. Glodio versus Goku. Interesting. And they're in like a cave. They're in a cave at the very end. Uh, so that's going to be interesting. They're fighting the Minotaur. <laughs> okay, and there's another creature with them. Some creature with horns here at the bottom. Um, so that is going to be interesting. Okay, okay. Next episode is called Lightning. So it looks like we got our main squad together for this Daima venture, our Daima Wonderland. And we learned that she is the daughter, the princess of the king of the third demon world. Um... So very, very Bulma, very Bulma centered, you know, in the same way where that, you know, she's a Sundare, she's um, allegedly very good with machines. We'll have to wait and see if she's actually good with it, like the way Bulma is. And she's the daughter of someone that is famous and rich in power. I just realized uh, Toriyama loved doing this where these characters that have like these quick to temper attitudes are like the daughters of these ultra rich people uh you have chi chi with um you know the ox king speaks for itself bulma with uh dr briefs speaks for itself same thing here um pansy and king daughter of the king of uh of the demon world what, what was his name his name was in here i know they name dropped it I just don't remember it off the top of my head. I know it's the king. I don't know. Let me know down in the comments what the king's name is here. Uh, but still super cool stuff. The guy's pretty chill. Kind of like a Robin Hood type of character. Uh, very Kazuma Kiryu inspired. He has a heart of gold. So that's nice to see. I don't know what he'll do in a position of power as the Demon King because he sounded a little power hungry. But we still got some cool action here with the Kingsguard versus Goku. We got to see the first instance of Super Saiyan Goku. That was always nice to see. And it's also cool to see uh, Supreme Kai, like, you know, without saying anything, glazing up Goku. Like, yeah, I know. You guys are impressed, right? We were too. We were too. <laughs> So that's always cool to see. That's always cool to see. Um, but great stuff. Great stuff here. Uh, again, a, a slower paced episode. A lot. The entire series has been slow paced to a degree, but that's with the pacing in mind. That's intentional. That's not by accident. Um, I can understand why people five episodes in are wondering like, man, where's the Dragon Ball Super stuff? Where's the Dragon Ball Z fights? I get that. I get that. Um, I'm starting to feel it a little bit. I kind of want, um, a little bit more. And when it comes to, um, 
kind of, I wouldn't say the battle sequences. I just want more, uh, like, more Z Fighter stuff. Like, start showing me what Piccolo and Vegeta are doing. Uh, show me when they're gonna catch up. Show me how Goku's adjusting to his body and, like, fighting. I always like seeing him progress little by little with his, uh, fighting state as the episodes go on. This is the first time we saw him, uh, in the series in Daima from episodes one through five as a Super Saiyan. So... Uh, that is really, really cool to see. Mini Goku Super Saiyan. Um, the question is, how far into the state can he go? Um, I'm sure some content creators are out there with spoilers. I'm not going to name names, but uh, I try to keep, I, I try to steer myself clear of those spoilers just to keep myself informed of what's going on with what they've given me in the series right now. And so far, it's up in the air whether or not he can go SS2 or 3. I don't know how his mini body can take it, especially SS3. I'm going to ignore what GT did with SS3 when Goku was a kid and he turned into SS3. Uh, they might do something completely different here. Maybe the body can't handle it. Maybe it can't last as long. We'll have to wait and see if he even does it. Uh, but Super Saiyan seems effortless from what I could tell so far. So... Pretty good stuff. Show me the fusion of uh, Bug Candy, man. I want to see fusion already in this series. Uh, the new kind of fusion that we'll be getting. And the ship already crashed. So I wonder if this is like a, a normal sparring match between Glodio and Goku. Or is Glodio like really pissed? Maybe Goku confronts him saying, hey, you haven't been telling us the truth, man. Uh, what's up with that? You want to throw hands or something to settle it? If I beat you, you explain everything to us? Something like that. Something like that. We'll have to wait and see. But it looks like... I don't know. They're frowning in this. So it might be a semi-serious fight. Maybe he has to throw hands with him till I get him to talk. Um, so we'll see. We'll see. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. How did you like this episode of Daima? Did you enjoy it? Are you okay with the pacing so far as it relates to uh, how we're moving the story along and progressing with the fights? The fights, whenever they happen, they're, they're great. They are just amazing to watch through. Um, it's just everything in between. I can understand some people kind of feeling, uh, I wouldn't say bogged down, but like, you know, th this is not the norm for Dragon Ball uh, in general, at least in recent years. Dragon Ball, OG Dragon Ball was definitely like this back then. Uh, you had the slower paced convos between characters, the journey ele element, and some fights sprinkled in between. So very, very Dragon Ball inspired OG Dragon Ball. So it ultimately comes down to if you want it, if you want that same feeling again from OG Dragon Ball. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a thumbs up. It helps it in the algorithm. Subscribe if you're new and click that bell icon so you do not miss a video when we go live or upload something new. But with that, everyone, I am Dr. Jason Turney signing off. Have a great rest of your day. Take care.